Hi, welcome. My name is Dan McCluskey. I'd like to welcome you to my kitchen. Okay, so this is a little bit of a different uh, video here um, that I'm doing again to uh, offer up a analogy. Okay, I'm going to talk about um, what's happened in the dog training world. Uh, when I talk about the core ingredients of what represents a process, okay, and those core ingredients, what are they? I mentioned this on um, on a, a debate I just had with a balanced dog trainer. Uh, core ingredients are uh, control, intentional control, and influence. Now, again, talk about um, a process itself, what it represents by way of a interaction-based, okay, method. Now, I brought out my uh, ingredients to um, to bake bread, and in case anyone is, you know, questioning, well, does Dale actually, does Dale really bake bread? Well, I actually have, uh, as evidence, okay, evidence, real evidence, I actually have part of uh, bread I recently baked um, by way of certain ingredients, and I have the bread maker over here, works great, okay, and, um, and I enjoy it, I enjoy baking my own bread, obviously it's, uh, healthier option um, for people, you know, less ingredients, okay? But when I talk about this whole issue about, again, I talk about a product, okay? I talk about, you know, coming out on the other side by way of a predictable outcome. And out, what's the outcome? Just like the bread, you know, outcome, you can see it, you know, you can, te you can taste it, you know, uh, it has a certain texture, you know, it smells a certain way. And, you know, when you hold it in your hand, you look at it, you know, you can see that, you know, how the ingredients uh, came together to produce by way of the bread maker process. Okay, this is the process outcome by way of this loaf of bread. And it's, again, by way of following, okay, the right recipe, okay? It's a recipe. So again, you might talk about the dog training process by way of going through a sequence, right? And you can really see this play out by way of service dog training. I encourage you to watch my service dog training videos. But getting back to this analogy, because again, really think about this example, it'll, it'll start to make sense, okay? When I talk about, you know, how things can appear even at a certain level, okay? But when you get away from the core ingredients, okay, it changes the outcome, it changes the product, okay? You're, you're following a different, you know, you're adding to the recipe. And so the core ingredients, what are they again? Influence and control, okay? Just again, so it's like relationship. So, but again, we talk about the core ingredients here, you know, what makes up, bringing it down to just a foundation. I'll talk about a base level. The relationship with your dog, okay? is depth of relationship, but there are some ingredients in that and we're part of it. Understand our role, okay? Um, how dogs are amazing animals, how they connect with us affects the relationship, okay? It's one of the main ingredients in the relationship. But what are the other ingredients, you know? Especially when we're experiencing a relationship problem. What do we need to do to, for a better, for an out, the right outcome, um, what has to define that process? What ingredients have to, do we have to bring in? Well, in this example here, you know, the main, you know, one of the main ingredients is the flour itself, okay, for the bread. And there's other things that go along with that. And one of the, you know, there's like, there's, lot, there's bigger things in terms of ingredients that you add. There's smaller things you add. The water, okay, for a one pound loaf of bread at three quarters of a cup of water. There we have it here. You know, for the flour, two cups of flour, okay? I kind of know the ingredients already. What goes in for part of it is the, the butter, you know, unsalted butter. You know, a tablespoon of that. And then, you know, for the sugar part, we're going to get to this about how the recipe will change in a minute by way of balanced and force-free training. But the sugar part of this for the right outcome, okay, by way of the core ingredients is um, not this much sugar, okay, like you see here, um, it's a tablespoon, right? You just add a little bit of sugar in there, um, affects the, the flavor, the taste, <clears throat> and then again, you got your yeast, okay, to activate, right? Activate the flour. And again, <clears throat> you got a little, just a pinch of salt. You know, not, especially people, again, with high blood pressure, right? You can actually leave the salt out. Or you can use something like um, a vinegar, a little bit of vinegar base. So I'm just giving you some tips here, okay? If you're dealing with high blood pressure. Um, and again, a um, little bit of extra virgin uh, olive oil. And the best type I'll say right now, research Kirkland, okay? This is, there's fake stuff out there. So I will just give you some tips, tips on ingredients to go on. So extra virgin olive oil, 
goes in a tablespoon of that, goes in with the butter. So this is, and I found this for bread, anyone out there making bread, this is a really great recipe um, for um, bread. It, I've tried different recipes. This works really, really good. And again, the right bread maker, it all comes together the right way. Now, getting back to this analogy, again, we talk about, okay, we got the core ingredients for, right, a specific outcome, okay? And again, understand that once you start mixing, uh, messing around, and again, this goes back to this analogy in terms of, you know, talk about other ways to train dogs, right? Talk about this issue about appearances, you know, how deceptive appearances are, you know, at a response level. Because the starting point is, what are the core ingredients to reveal, right, that you haven't even have a relationship problem in the first place? I use the parenting example, you know, and again, the, you know, taking form of a demand, right? You know, influence and control part of that, of the equation, part of the, you know, the interaction. You know, parent, you know, hey, pick up your toys because you're the parent. That's a demand, it's gonna reveal, right? But then you're putting all the other pieces together anyway through the, and you already know, hey, I have a relationship problem underway because I got information coming here and here. And so you're, you're dialing into that fact. <clears throat> and then uh, versus what's the do entire dog training world based on? We're gonna get into this, okay? Uh, here's a hundred dollars, okay? Just, you know, go, go and pick your toys up. Right, but just totally, you know, dismissing the core ingredients because that's going to affect the outcome. Okay, and appearances are deceiving because it might taste really good when you get into this. Right, we're going to change some of these ingredients here. Talk about this, but then it tastes really good. It feels really good. You get the you know pet all over your dog. You get to engage a certain way. Right, understand the entire dog training world is built on this on the on switching out the ingredients, um, but the outcome, right? Blame shifting. Talk about what's happening. Not not good. So. But again, understand that the whole principle here, and this is what I get into, is that when you start to trade out these ingredients, right? So, you know, let's say balanced dog training, because understand this whole idea that trains a learning-based exercise that removes the core ingredients, influence and control. Okay, how it's defined, how it comes in, how it aligns with, through a, a interaction-based pro, it's a process. There's the bread maker, okay, it's a process. Everything goes in, it all combines, right? And out comes your perfect loaf of bread. But again, you start messing around, okay? And I understand this is what the entire dog training world is based on. You start messing around and start switching out the ingredients. So instead of, you know, instead of, you know, in, can, instead of influence, right? By way of a interaction base, it's a core ingredient. It's like the main thing. You start switching these out. Okay, I'm not gonna switch this out and I'm gonna bring in the sugar, right? Feel it looks really good, right? Let's, let's push this over here. Let's bring the sugar over here, right? So balanced and force-free training. Right, learning-based exercise. Just, just dive in. Um, you don't have to worry about those core ingredients. You can just trust what you say. Let's just build off of that. All right, like it looks really good already. You know, it's already it looks like it's already coming together. You know, pay attention. So now we get the sugar over here. We just threw out, threw out the. You know, this is going to be our base now. Okay, the sugar. Now let's try out some other stuff because we got we just got rid of the the you know the influence part of it through again because we're doing a whole different recipe now. But we're still think it's gonna be bread, it's gonna come out like this, bread, right? So, okay, so what else are we gonna trade out? Well, let's, no, 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 let's trade out the, you know, let's bring in instead of the water, because this is again a main ingredient, because we don't care about, you know, the outcome quite the same way anymore, um, because it's about feelings, right? It's about food, we were appearances, we want it to taste, we want it to taste really good. Um, you want, you know, it's about really, because it's all superficial now, okay? Understand, this is just about appearances and about feeling good and tasting good and, you know, and so don't get me wrong, you know, I talk about dogs, right? We bring dogs into our life, right, to, to again, because we care. I understand, I don't wanna take that away, we care, but understand, just like being a parent, our role matters, okay? Understand that it isn't about being mean to dogs here, okay? This isn't about abuse. So much, so all these labels are being thrown around all over the dog training world, they don't even fit. Because people are, are missing the point here about, just like being a parent, your role, you know, and I said this, made a statement on that debate, you know, if we're doing something wrong as a human, some idea we're putting forward that's causing problems, everything should stop, it hasn't stopped, okay, so, but again, getting back to my, the recipe, so let's trade this out, so again, because again, this is all about appearances now, we don't really care about the core ingredients anymore, but, you know, we're still selling a product, all these trainers, that's what they're doing, they're selling, understand, they're out there putting, they're putting videos up, for free, right? They're they're trying to draw you in to make money. So, but let's switch this out. Let's bring the milk, almond milk over here, because now we're going to use almond milk instead, uh, instead of the core ingredient here of water. Okay.
Okay, so we traded that out as well. What else are we gonna do? Oh, let's just grab something, okay? Because, you know, let's, let's think this is like, and again, think of this this way, okay? So we talk about, because here's the, here's the effect here too. Because you can, every analogy, well, this, every analogy will, of course, break down a certain level, but this is pretty close. So we talk about a certain ingredient that, say, both recipes might use, right? And we'll keep them, because this will make sense, okay? When I talk about devices like remote callers, okay? The role of remote callers, because this, this is part of that debate, too. Um, so, but here's the thing. Let's switch out. Let's use the same, you know, same amount of, say, because we're switching stuff out here. Let's move the butter over here. But the butter is the remote call, okay? And so we're going to use the same device, right? A tablespoon of butter, right? And let's put in, let's pretend we put a tablespoon of butter. Let's bring it over here. But we changed up the core ingredients now. Okay, think about what I'm saying. But we're still using the same tablespoon of butter. That's the remote call. Ask yourself the question, does that affect everything? Is it gonna, is it gonna be the same? Is the butter gonna, gonna mix in the same way? Is it going to, um, you know, is it gonna combine? Is it gonna have the same effect as the original recipe with the right ingredients, the base ingredients? Absolutely not, okay? I mean, that's why I talk about like, you know, everything branches off of, right, a process. So if the process ain't right, you can bring whatever tools and this is where the problem starts. So I talk about then when you, this is what happens with cheese train was talking about, oh, the remote call. I talk about not being able to get the remote caller off the dog. Okay, I talk about certain reactions of dogs having a reaction with, you know, um, you know being startled, right? Because the core ingredients aren't right now. It's about making sense, making sense to the dog. You know, our role, you know, the core ingredients. So all to say that, Okay, you see what happens. You see what, this is very similar. You start trading these, let's get these ingredients back to the right place that they, where they belong, okay? Because again, we talk about balance training. We talk about force-free training. You know, we talk about, um, you know, what represents a real, the right process. Here's the mixing bowl, how everything goes into it, right? The right ingredients. And this is the point, is you don't want to, again, you want to understand, <clears throat> what represents a process. Okay, you need the right ingredients at the very start. This is why when I talk about going in and if I watch a video, I'm only doing like a minute and 20 of a video. That's all it takes, because you, you already know what the recipe is. You know what the, the foundation is. Okay, if the foundation ain't right, you're in trouble. And everything's gonna be off. So, because the end product, right, the end product is gonna be different. It isn't gonna be this loaf, this same loaf of bread. Okay, it's gonna be, again, you start messing around. It's gonna be, it might taste really good because you poured all that sugar into it. It ain't gonna be good for you. It isn't gonna be good for the relationship with your dog. Okay, it's going to be deceptive. It's all gonna fall apart. Just like this bread here, it's all, it's all gonna start to fall. It's gonna fall, fall to pieces. You know, I talk about you know, concepts of counter conditioning in the context of agreeableness, right? See, this, this is crumbling. This bread's been sitting out. I'm gonna make a new, I'm actually making a new loaf here, <clears throat> but you leave it out, right? So all the ingredients have to come together, right? But see, everything just falls to pieces because everything that holds us together the right way is the core ingredients. But again, if you use the wrong ingredients, well, it's not gonna hold up. The relationship isn't gonna hold together. You're gonna get blindsided. There'll be moments happening. What happened? Why did that happen? Well, because you didn't start, you didn't start with the right process to begin with, okay? The core ingredients. Intentional, okay? It's intentional. It's about, it's about your role. It's about how that, again, combines together to come out the other side with a predictable outcome. So my encouragement is don't buy into, okay, what balanced trainers and force-free trainers are selling as a product just because it's, everyone's doing it, okay? But look at all the bad outcomes. Look at all the blame shifting. Look at all people struggling for answers. The dog training world's falling apart. I mean, look at it. I talk about that. I connect all the dogs. So if you have questions, contact me. I'll be more than happy to answer them. But think about this analogy because it plays into what I'm saying about you know how things can look dogs can look fantastic moving around in the dog in the training environment for treats moving dogs that way but totally absent the core ingredients to um, connect dots properly to reveal the change right and this is where we're at tastes really good but then you know you start flipping this over right what's what's the product they're selling let's flip it over let's look at the let's look at the ingredients oh well you know this ain't bad for you right so Bad for the relationship, bad for dogs, you know, very deceptive, tastes really good. So that's a, it's a feelings thing. But again, so again, um, encourage you, if you have questions, contact me, I'm more than happy to answer them. I'll be more than happy, okay, to help you 
you know, bring the ingredients, right ingredients together um, to, you know, bake the perfect loaf of bread, okay? Um, to have the perfect relationship with your dog. That's what matters in the end. But then don't buy into this whole thing where there's more than one way to train a dog. That's based on appearances. You know, that's the out, right? Look at the dog again. Look at the dog training world. It's a mess. So, again, contact me. I'll make sure you get to understand the process, what the ingredients are, your role, okay? How to, again, effect change the right way. So, thanks for watching.